Welcome back to Destination Playdate. I am your host, Attack Slug, and this is Under the Castle, out now on Catalog and Itch for a price of $10. As always, full disclosure, they sent me a copy. This is a roguelike, and that term is literal, as in like rogue, which came out back in 1980, the same age as me. It's old. Anyhow, and so here we are, moving around one square at a time. There are three dungeons to explore, and eventually, you will get far enough to fight the last boss up in this direction. I'm not there just yet. So, if I hold B, we get our quests. So, I'm at five on all of these dungeons. I'm going to go back now to the first one and to show you how this works. So, unlike the original Rogue, this does have a form of meta progression, which means you unlock different items and they can be used in further runs. A lot of games that copy Rogue don't do that because it's just, alright, permadeath, you're done, start over. And so my current build lately has been this knife here, which is the dagger, and I want the kite shield for extra health, and I would like some thunder, and perhaps one health potion. Keep in mind, on the left hand side, you're gonna find things in the dungeon, so don't stack up on everything, you won't have any room in your inventory for that. So, into the crypts, and it is now kill 10 monsters as you dive deeper into the depths. Now, the key part of being like Rogue is that when you move, they move. And so it's kind of like chess and planning out your moves to not die to all these variety of enemies. But also, if you hit B, then you'll stay put, they'll move. You use the D-pad here to attack, so I'm just gonna slash them, and it's turn-based obviously. And then he's dead, and look at that, yet another health potion. So I'll take it for now, but again, you have the option here, but now hitting A brings up that inventory, and I can either use it or drop it, depending on what I'm looking to do. So I know the enemy down at the bottom here is based on, it's a big eye, right? So it's the eyesight. So as soon as it sees you, then it's gonna head towards you, and again, I hit B, 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 and then chop. Because if you don't, they're gonna hit you first, and you want to obviously have that first hit on that. Now, stairs are stairs here. There's no going up. It's only down. And so, we have more. See, that's my mistake. I should not have done that. But hey, we have two potions now, so we'll be okay. And it's hit the A button, get the potion, use the potion, boom, back up to full health. So, you dive further and further down, and obviously, enemies get more and more difficult. And currently, we're on three of ten of our current goal, which is ten enemies that have to die. So... You can, in these sections, where there's the black, the inky depths, you can fall down one depth and lose health for that. Don't do it. Be careful in your movement in this game, because it can get a little hectic. Boom. 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 Health potion. Look at that. Very, very convenient for me. And I'll just wait for him to go down to get, obviously get the first hit on this guy. And, oh man, they are just feeding me health potions. I will continue my exploring here onto the other side and see how that goes. Oh man. So, I will show you one other part of this game, which is very important. First of all, we have so many freaking potions here. Just use one. Like, you know what? Because there's an eye there that's going to attack me, so that's important. Here it comes. And then we chop. So, miss, miss, miss. One damage. And a torch. The torch is also very important because some rooms are completely black and a little light around your guy and that just get that whole room lit up to not get murdered very easily. So, the other part and the reason you have magic in this game. Under your health bar is your mana bar. And that is where the playdate crank comes into play as you use your magic hat and then you can float over and not get hit and just not fall, which is great. So, that one though obviously uses mana for each step, and you can get more potions to get that refilled. Now then, I don't think I fought that guy up top yet. So, well, this should be interesting, as all the enemies have different attacks, and it can get quite tricky. Down. So this is where it's, alright, slow down. Don't just run, slow down to figure out where you're going and how you're going. So, for me... What I'm gonna do here is use my lightning, right? So that one, I can put that thing anywhere on this screen to zap whoever needs to get zapped. And that will do six damage, success. Now, 
Does the guy up there have more health than that guy down there? I don't know. I'm gonna just, you know, not let him see me for a little bit here and open this chest. Oh, look at that. Another Thunder Scroll. So, guess what, buddy? You're getting zapped, too. Sorry. Yeah, he definitely had more health there. But when he's blinking, much like the old school Zelda, it's gonna be a problem for him when I find him and murder him, hopefully. There we go. Cursed Shield. New item. I don't have that yet. But thankfully, already having a shield equipped means that does not get automatically equipped. But I can see what it does. So, no evading reflect damage. Interesting. And the attack is 3 to 4 with 10% crit and 35% evade. Whereas my current shield has, yeah, the same kind of attack, crit, and evade. So, interesting. Back out of that. And then keep on. We got two more to kill. Keep it on. So there are also hidden rooms here. If you see, like, the lines on the ground, I haven't seen any yet here, but if you do, there are hidden rooms to explore. And obviously find more loot, more enemies, etc. etc. But as a big fan of this kind of game, this is like a bite-sized version of that on the play date. Love it. Excellent. There is a potion for the mana, so of course we're gonna A, get our health back, and keep on getting our health back, and then get back our mana. We have one more enemy to murder here, so let us go down further into the depths and see at five what the deal is. All right, what's the deal with this guy here? Bring him to me. Now, once you murder your final deal, the exit will spawn. Sometimes it spawns in, in the room you're in, and sometimes it does not. Again, roguelike procedural iteration. So, another health potion, I'm gonna take it, and then I will use it because I'm already down to 10 and 16 here, so just in case, just in case. And I don't have anything else really to use right here, so it's can I get to the exit without getting totally thrashed by these guys that shoot fireballs at you? It's not, it's not great. So we're gonna try to get ourselves out of here. And yes, I could have kept going down, but no, I finished that mission. And then back to the beginning, and all the loot I found will be back at the beginning. But also, my first crash. So, you know, it's got some bugs, they're working on it, getting it patched, and that's a fun time. So, looks like we're at six there, so it did indeed save, which is good, because... You go over here into the options, right? There is, at the bottom, it tells you the last save that you had, and I love games that do that. Also, screen shake, damage numbers, low HP, blinking and whatnot, and then, obviously, other options. Also, hard mode, so a true roguelike experience, permadeath, you done, start all the way to the start, and level one on everything. There are different philosophies in how to present this particular genre. Down in the sewers, you collect orbs, which means those take spots up in your inventory, which makes things very tricky to manage that. And in the mines, you find keys to rescue prisoners. So each different dungeon here handles the roguelike business a little bit differently and presents a different challenge in that difficulty. So I don't know just how many floors it takes with each of these three to unlock that final boss and perhaps in infinite mode at some point, I don't know. But if you are looking for a bite-sized roguelike on the play date, this one is amazing. Go get it on catalog or itch. $10, link in the description. I'm a tax slug, more videos on this channel. Keep on cranking. I'll see you next time, and I'm out.